This video is a demonstration of how, how to solve a few different types of acceleration problems. Um, to start off with, you should remember that the formula we're using, you can kind of ignore this part, is this right here. Acceleration is equal to V final, the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. Okay, so the first one will be rather straightforward. Uh, Emma starts biking from rest and she reaches a speed of 16 meters per second. I could have also said velocity. Um, they're kind of interchangeable in this case in four seconds overall. It's a good idea to kind of identify what variables you do know in this problem. So A is equal to Vf minus Vi over T. Well, our from rest, so she would, when her, she started, she was not moving at all. That means her initial velocity, that's the Vi right there, that Vi is going to be zero. So I'm going to plug in zero for that. She reaches a speed of 16 meters per second, so that's her final velocity. It's the, at the end, what she was going. So 16 meters per second, and that took her four seconds. That's our time, four seconds. Um, I'll get them to rewrite this equation with that a little bit cleaned up here. A is equal to 16 meters per second divided by four seconds. Um, because seconds is in the denominator here and then it's being divided by again here, it actually doesn't cancel out. This is the case where um, you're basically putting that seconds in the denominator again which means that simplifies to uh, 16 divided by four, that is four, and meters per second squared. So that's how we get meters per second per second there. So that's your answer for uh, the first part is, um, her acceleration is four meters per second squared. Uh, she then notices a big pothole, so she slams on her brakes, she decelerates to one meters per second in 1.5 seconds. What is her deceleration? Let me erase this. So what we know in this, uh, one point or one meter per second, uh, that's what she came to at the end of the problem, so that would be her final velocity. 1.5 seconds, that'll be her time. Um, and I'm asking you to solve for her deceleration. The other thing you need to realize is that you're using the information from this problem. Um, she had reached that speed of 16 meters per second, so that is still her, or now that has become her velocity initial in this problem. Notice it was the velocity final in the first part, now it's velocity initial. So A equals Vf minus Vi over T. And our acceleration equals V final that's one meter per second. One meter per second minus 16 meters per second. Divided by time, that was just one second. Well, hopefully you can all... Okay, I am re-recording one section of this video on acceleration that I initially made a mistake on. Um, when you're plugging the values in for this second question, uh, she decelerates to one meter per second in 1.5 seconds. What is her deceleration? I, I accidentally put one second in uh, there. That should be 1.5 seconds. Um, her final velocity is 1.1 meter per second. And her initial velocity was 16 meters per second. So, if I solve that, we've got A equals 1 meters per second minus 16 meters per second divided by 1.5 seconds. That gives you negative 15 meters per second over 1.5. Hopefully you can see it, I'll write that down over here. Negative 1, 15 meters per second over 1.5 seconds. Once you simplify that, that comes to negative 10 
meters per second squared. Okay. Um, which spots the negative there as well. Uh, so that was a mistake. I'm going to actually leave my original mistake in there and just going to tack this on the end here, I believe. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, credit to Serena for catching that one. Um, last question here is a little more difficult. She starts speeding up again, this time accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. So what I just told you right here, that is her A, her acceleration. I'm asking you how fast will she be going after 8 seconds? 8 seconds, that's our time. How fast will she be going? That's asking for her velocity final. And you need to use the velocity initial from this problem. Remember, that's what she was doing at the end of this problem and the beginning of this problem. So that's now her velocity initial. So let's write that out. Uh, what makes this one a little more difficult is you're going to have to rearrange uh, the different sides of the equation using some algebra. So. A is equal to VF minus VI over T. And how fast will she be going after eight seconds? Okay, sorry, I was reading this myself. Um, the A that she has is two meters per second. So notice that I'm not, I'm not drawing the arrows anymore about how each goes in here. Hopefully that's something that you don't have to do every time. You can if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and plug everything in here. Um, VF is what we want to know, minus uh, the initial was one meter per second, one meter per second, divided by a time of eight seconds. Eight seconds. Now this is going to take a couple steps to solve this one. First, I need to get, uh, if I want to get V final by itself, I need to get rid of both of these things. The first one you want to get rid of is the division, in terms of order of operations. So hopefully that sounds familiar from uh, your math teachers. Multiply both sides by eight seconds. That cancels out all of that. Seconds cancel out one of the seconds here. Um, the math you do is eight times two, so that gives you 16, and our units left are meters per second equals VF minus one meter per second. Well, now, order of operation says we can get rid of this, so I will add one meter per second. I will add, put one, here. Um, one meter per second. That gives me a total of 17 meters per second is equal to velocity final. So that cancels out over here. So if Emma accelerated at a rate of two meters per second squared for eight seconds, Starting at one meter per second, she'd be traveling 17 meters per second at the end there. So these are a few different styles of how you solve um, different kinds of acceleration problems. I'm hoping that helps you with those types of problems.